my name is Taylor and I'm from NetBeansTutorials.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to prompt the user for input, do math with the input, and then prompt the user with the answer. Okay, it's a very simple stuff. We're just going to need to import the necessary utilities that we're going to use in this package and that is javax.swing.joptionpane. Now again, you just import it right above public class. Very simple. And now what I'm going to type right here on this line is going to prompt the user for the uh, for the number that we're going to do math with. Now you can't save it as a double here because it doesn't know what to do with that information and it cannot save it as a double. It has to be a string. And I'll show you how to get across that barrier because you know you can't do math with a string. It's a bit complicated, but I'll show you what to do. String user input equals j option pane show input dialog null input a number very simple now again I said that you cannot do math with a string and here we've saved the number that the users inputted as a string so in order to convert that to a double so we can do math with it we have to use what's called a parse tool um, very simple stuff you use it by <clears throat> and you do it by um, typing double user input number equals double dot parse double user inputs and why isn't that working oh I just need to have this capitalized very simple stuff okay so now we've actually we prompt the user with this line ask them to input a number save it as the string user input and then in this line we literally look inside the string user input and declare whatever numbers it has we parse it for the double and we save it as user input number now with this we can actually do math let's go ahead and just uh, square it or something user input number equals user input number times user input number will the game break if I do that? nope it will not alright now we're just going to print the answer J option pane dot show message dialog no your number squared is user input number all right let's see if it works and put a number two four sweet Jesus Alright guys, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments, I will address them. Thanks for watching guys, and again, if you have any questions, please leave a comment either here or on my site, namebeanstutorials.com. Hope you learned something.